Okay, I just saw Season 4, Episode 5 of Rick and Morty and was a little bit pissed off that I forgot uh, that they had to go back in time and undo what they did. So that got me thinking, which is always a dangerous thing, uh, how this time travel nonsense works in Rick and Morty Season 4, Episode 5. So I'm going to scope this out. I'm going to scope this out, and I'm going to point to where I believe there's an error. And if you believe that I'm incorrect, please go ahead and call me out on it. But our Rick and Morty, our Rick and Morty, they end up in the snake time travel control room. And they see that the snakes have, they're not even a quarter of the way through, or about a quarter of the way through to inventing snake time travel. While Rick is quote-unquote reminding himself that he has to remind himself in the future to invent time travel, using snake math, etc. Rick and Morty, Morty with a black eye, show up. They have the snake suits, they have the notebook, and they have the time travel devices. So they hand these off, and then they go back to where they, to the moment after they left. Because obviously whenever these guys left to come to the snake, snake planet, they're going to return like, to the next moment after. Hold that for for a moment. So Rick and Morty, Morty with a black eye, they hand off the snake suits, the time travel devices, and the notebook to our Rick and Morty in the snake control room. Our Rick and Morty go to Snake MIT back in 1985. They leave the notebook, but they come back. They come back home, ostensibly with the snake suits and the time travel devices. So they come home, uh, Rick fixes Jerry's broken leg, they come in, and then they're faced with, hey, not so fast, Rick and Morty from the future. This Rick and Morty, more this Morty has a black eye. Rick's got books, and Morty has material. So right off the bat, if he's got the material that past Morty is going to use to make the snake suits, you're going to have this weird conundrum where there's going to be a, a growing mound of snake suits right at this point. Plus, why would, why would current Rick have to invent the time travel devices? They came home with them. Unless what the time travel cops did somehow erased this whole block, in which case we wouldn't be talking about this time travel. This is the problem with time travel. Time travel doesn't make any sense because it, it in a sense, eats its own tail. But work with me on this. So Rick and, Rick and Morty, our Rick and Morty, they arrive back home. They, you know, Morty does not have a black eye. They fix um, Jerry's leg because Jerry fell off the roof. They meet their future selves. They, 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 our Rick and Morty, go to the garage, and, and Morty starts to stitch together the suits. Rick does his thing. And when they're done, they leave the garage, and they go to the Snake Planet. Shortly thereafter, Rick punches Morty in the eye, and they meet their future, their past selves. Okay? So here's that loop. But notice what had to have happened. After they gave their past selves the Snake suits, the time travel devices, and the notebook... They went into the future. They went into the future. Ostensibly, the moment before they left, to collect some material that they would bring back to themselves, and then jump further into the future the next moment after and continue living their lives. But the way this is set up doesn't make any sense. Um, you've got these guys again. When they meet, when, when our Rick and Morty and future Rick and Morty meet, our Rick and Morty should still have the snake suits and the time travel devices, yet they are, yet they are being given, at the very least, snake suit, snake suit material. And why would they need to reinvent the time travel devices if they already had them? Now, of course, this is the problem with time travel. But there's going to be a, but this point that they, once they handed off the materials to our Rick and Morty, they went back sometime in the future they really can't go back immediately to right before, to right after, to right after our guys came back. Because they've got to go someplace and pick up the books, 
and the snakes and the, the material to make the snake suits. And then, which is going to be like probably the moment after, the moment after they originally left to go to the snake planet, to go to the snake planet with the material to give them their past selves, etc. So once they came, once they came back to a moment, the next moment after, and then they went back in time to meet their past selves, and then they left to live their lives because they knew that their past selves would take care of everything. You've got the snake suit material basically building up in this point in time, in space-time. And that doesn't make any sense. Uh, the only way that would make any sense is if, this, is if somehow the undoing of the snake time by the time police somehow magically, magically got rid of the space, this is the snake suits and the time travel devices. But then it would have gotten rid of everything and would have gotten rid of their memory and they wouldn't have been able to remind themselves in the future whenever that would have happened. I mean, think about that also. That's also a glaring, a glaring error that once they, once our Rick and Morty came back, you know, creating the snake suits and the time travel devices and the snake, the time travel notebook for the snakes at MIT, that was out of their minds. So they would have had to, sometime in the future, remind themselves and do it and go back and do this loop. So perhaps this loop doesn't make really a lot of sense the way it's set up. But the only way that it might make sense is that there was a there was a what we see these guys meeting for the first time wasn't when it actually happened that something else happened that in other words they came back after depositing the notebook at Snake MIT 1985 they came back eventually Grandpa remembers oh we have to do our thing they do their thing and then and then they go back to the snake planet. Rick punches Morty in the eye. They give their, their past selves the snake suits, the notebook, the time travel devices. And then they come back to the point right before they left, pick up the books and pick up snakes, snake suit material, then come back and meet their prior selves. And what we see is that first, that first initial. In other words, in other words we, have, we have a different timeline. That first timeline, it couldn't have happened. Rick would have had to re remember, oh gosh, we got to go ahead and do this thing. Then they go to the snake planet, you know, they, they, they build the material, go to the snake planet, give their past selves everything, then they come back. But when they come back, they're going to come back to that moment, that moment right after that they left originally. Pick up the books, pick up the material, and then come back. That's that snake suit, that snake suit material that, that Rick, that Morty with the black eye brings back, eventually is going to conflict with the fact that they come back from snake MIT ostensibly with the snake suits and the time travel devices. So there's a glitch here. There's a glitch, and it's one of the reasons why I really hate time travel, because you can basically use it to explain anything, except in this case, there's a, there's a, there's a bit of a problem. There, there, you could probably explain this where there was a first time that, that Rick reminded himself they had to do the thing and build the suits and the time travel devices and the notebook, and they went back to the snake planet, and then Rick punched... Morty in the eye, and they gave their past selves the material, and then they came back in the future one moment before they left the first time, and then went back in time to their past selves to give them the, the F1, the 411, that they had to do their thing, and then went back and moved on. So you've got essentially, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, tell me what you think, but, but there's that glaring omission here that when they come back, when they come back the first time, and after having after having got the snake MIT in 1985, they've got the snake suits. At the very least, they got this. So you, you're going to have as, as this as these loops keep going on, you're going to have a pile and pile of material of snake suits, some, somewhere in here. That doesn't make any sense. And you're also going to have the time travel devices after this first thing is done. So they're going to come back. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. This is why I hate time travel. But uh, I'm curious as to what where you think this. I guess sort of, like a, of an analysis might be incorrect. Uh, thank you for your time.